And welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy, Joe Fontaine of Joe Fontaine Music. And I just had a subscriber hit me up and they were wanting to know actually how they can um, take the MIDI notes out of machine and actually put it inside of Pro Tools. Uh, reason being, instead of just dragging and dropping the audio, they wanted to actually um, hear the sound actually while touching the notes when doing the editing to make the editing, editing a lot easier. And you know, I can understand that. So I'm gonna show you a quick workflow how you can get around that. So you actually can hear your MIDI notes when you're doing your editing. Uh, but incorporating it with machine. It's pretty um, simple. The first thing you need to do is you need to open up one instrument track. As you can see right here, I have an instrument track that's labeled machine 1.7. Okay, so make sure in your inserts that you do have it so that you can see here the inserts because you're gonna need this later and I'll show you why. So when you open up machine like this, we basically wanna get these notes over here on this instrument channel. So You've seen some of my previous tutorial, you know how that goes. What we need to do is go to sound and MIDI batch setup. We want to go sounds to MIDI notes, click apply. Okay. Over here, we want to make sure that we have the scene MIDI settings also set to MIDI note. Okay, now here's where it gets a little bit different. What we need to do is this is just a quick little uh, eight bar loop. We touch this icon here, same as the drag to audio icon. Okay, and we simply drag it on to the instrument track as, as shown here. Now from there, what we'll do, let me just go ahead and uh, shrink the machine down for a minute. Now you see right here, we have all of the MIDI notes. Okay, and we can go down here, and this is basically what he wants to do. So to actually, you know, when you, when you, when you touch a note, You know, you can go ahead and you can hear all the sounds. Which reminds me, actually, you can do a trick, like if you um, have your machine uh, sampler actually set up. You can go to these velocity icons and actually sample yourself doing something like this. Kind of sounds kind of like a live band. Just a little quick trick, I'll just show you right quick. You can. Well, you know, it might be chopping up a little bit because I'm on the, uh, the video recorder here. But uh, you can um, actually move this little icon here up and down and kind of get like some weird melodic notes, kind of like a real live drum player. But that's that's something completely different. Let's uh, go ahead and get back over here. All right. So anyway, um, okay, we need to go ahead and uh, adjust this here. Let me just go ahead and chop that extra garbage off. I thought I optimized the loop, but I guess I didn't. All right, eight bar loop. You track it out. What you do is you actually highlight the section like this here. What you want to do is you jump over here to event. Then we're going to go to event operations. This is where you'll find your quantize, your velocity, and stuff like that. And uh, I guess I guess what some people don't realize, you have a split MIDI notes icon here. Okay. So basically, get to know this area because this, this is going to be your friend in the future. What you want to do is you want to select all notes. And from here, you want to select split notes in, in the action window. You got the, the pitch criteria, and you have the action menu here. Go to split notes, make sure it's on cut. Over here, it says to the clipboard. No, you don't want that. Take that off. Add, or rather select a new track per pitch. And once this is all set up, you double check it, and you click apply. Okay, now you notice in the back, it immediately tracked everything out, but uh, don't get excited yet because you're not done. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll take this off. And uh, let's see here. We're gonna have to slide this over just a little bit. This little one right here is off a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this guy right here back on, you know. If you have any problems like this, make sure that you know you got everything you know set up in here perfect. All right, so now we have these little uh, these little sections here. All the tracks are separated: the kicks from the highs to the snares to the kicks. Now, keep in mind your plugin window is going to be open over here. If you play any audio 
from right here, um, it's going to fool your ears because you'll be down here adjusting your MIDI notes. And you're going to be like, what the heck? I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting MIDI notes, but it's not doing it inside a machine. That's because machine doesn't have a, a rewire function, kind of like how it does in Reason. Like when I'm on the screen here, if I go over here to my inserts, okay, and this is why I wanted you to show the instrument tracks here because this is going to be very important. I'll show you what I mean. But if I go to multi-channel plugin, or rather plugin because it's a mono channel right now, that's the way it's set. When I go down here to instrument, where the instruments are, if you was to click like, uh, let's say like uh, Reason, it would say you, it would give you the rewire option. We can go to the left and right mix or Ableton Live. For Machina, it doesn't do that. Um, for whatever reason, I'm not really sure. I mean, if anybody knows, just leave it in the comment section below. So um, these right here, they're going to have to be in the middle because you're going to want your sound optimized. I don't know why mine defaulted pan to the left or whatever. I think that was kind of weird. But anyway, you, you know, you just you just get these set up so, so that they're all perfect. I'm not going to do the whole thing because what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make multiple instances of machine on each one of these tracks, kind of how you would if you was routing audio from uh, Reason or um, Ableton Live. Okay. Now, so to do that, what you would do is you would just click on this machine icon here. Okay and make sure that when you're over here in the machine icon that you erase all of your MIDI data here because you're gonna be doing editing over there. So what's gonna happen is, what I'm about to show you is when it sets up this MIDI, it's gonna trigger the sounds on each pad that you have set on machine. So just think of machine as, you know, kind of like a sound module from this point. Any sounds that you put on these pads are gonna be triggered over in Pro Tools along with the MIDI editing. So you don't want to have anything over here, you know, getting your way in the future. You know, so just, you know, you, you just highlight, you know, this whole entire section. Um, oops, mine's kind of dragging it. Just, you know, you just highlight this whole entire section and just and just delete it. You know, I'm, no, I'm not going to do the whole thing because this is, you know, just for, for demo or whatever, but, you know, you get the idea. It demoed off. I only did like three bars, but, you know, you just do the whole thing in there. So... The shortcut to do that inside of Pro Tools is when you hold this, you would hold Alt and click, and you drag this to here. And this is going to be very important because if you go, if you if you think you're just going to go in here and say, okay, I go to multi-channel plugin instrument, open up machine over and over and over, you're going to have to reopen each um, uh, session that you did a machine. So it's better just to you know grab this guy right here, click the Alt button, and drag it over. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go back inside machine and where it says master group and sound, you're going to have to go back down here to where it says drum track. You're going to have to go back to your sound MIDI batch setups. Okay. Now you're going to change this from sounds to MIDI notes. You're going to go back to sounds to MIDI channels and click apply. Reason being is because, again, we're going to be using machine as a sound module triggering the notes, okay? If you don't do that, you're never going to get no sound to come out of it. It'll, it'll, it'll drive you up the wall. Trust me on that. So make sure you change that back. We're going to use machine as a sound module. Once you have that set, you're pretty much ready to rock. It's just more or less just duplicating this, this icon across these here. You know, I'm not going to do it right now because, again, I'm just, you know what? I'll just go ahead. Let, let me just go ahead and just do one for you right quick like that and this instance of machine over here um we really don't need so we can we can take that one off okay and once we have that one off now this is the easy part again you would just keep doing that just go ahead and duplicate this guy throughout the tracks and from here it's just routing the audio on the instrument uh tracks above you want to keep um all these on all at the top up here down here in the bottom, okay, you're going to have three little options. It's going to say none, <clears throat> machine two, and predefined. For channels one through 16, just think of these as the pads. Just think of channel one as pad one. Think of channel two as pad two. Channel three is pad three. Channel four is pad four, and so on and so on. 
you know, if you got 16 sounds, you got 16 different channels. So um, for this first sound, let's just go ahead and we'll choose, let's say, channel two. Okay. And when you hit the play button, that sound's now going to trigger off. And you'll notice because you'll see the meters move over here. Like if I push the play button right now, now keep in mind, I'm just estimating. I didn't go back to the, to the machine program, but one of those sounds is going to be um, triggered off down here. Watch. Okay, you see the little icon moving here. And just to give you a general idea of how that works, I'll go over here and I'll change it from machine two. Let's go ahead and move it to, let's say, channel three. And I'll just bring the transport over so I have to keep going crazy going back and forth. And let me show you the meter right quick. See the meter moving, you know, and so on and so on. And that, that's basically how that's going to work. Every time you change that channel, it's going to trigger off a different sound. So eventually you're going to get all the sounds down here. Now, once your track is active, you know it's active. As you can see here, it went from a gray screen to the nice uh, vivid color screen as, as it's supposed to be. So you know you have everything routed correctly uh, once all these light up in a correct uh, color. They won't be grayed out the way that they're down here. This is from my Renaissance drum kit. Uh, you guys can come on my website, which is www.digitalmusic.yodasite.com and um, come check out the site. We've made some improvements on the site. Um, you guys can come on there. You can um, click on the links for hot products. I'm going to be making a new um, a member option now. When you guys come on there, I'm going to, uh, you know, have a link. Well, not a link, but just an icon. For, you know, have the PayPal checkout assurance. You can just click on the member link for just $9.99. And what we'll do is we'll give you um, full member, member access. Whereas people who are non-members, when they come on my site, when they buy drum kits and stuff like that, you know, they buy whatever. They pay $9, bucks, 10 bucks for a drum kit. You wouldn't have to do that. You know, you just pay a one-time fee. And that's, that's for life. It's a lifetime fee. It's no reoccurring charge. It's going to be $9.99. For the membership fee, you can come on there. You can get any drum kit for free from that point. Whether it's a drum kit, uh, whether it's an instrumental, anything like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to be setting that up. So, so you know, come to my site, check on that. By the time you watch this video, I'll probably be working on it. And that option will be available soon. So in the next um, couple of days, um, you, might, you guys might want to come on there and check that out. You know, it's a good way to get a bunch of goodies for free. And I'm also going to be... Um, putting some some patches and stuff like that for structure and, and things of that nature so you know it's all gonna be included for free so you know you can't beat that 10 bucks say hey 10 bucks you know i get a, I get a lifetime subscription of, of free drum kits sounds you know and you know and i'm always going to be here you know doing the, uh, the, the uh, tutorials and stuff like that so again this is your boy Joe fontaine of Joe fontaine music be sure to check me out on my web page which is www.digitalmusic.yellowsite.com I hope these little tips and um, tutorials helped you out as far as tracking your MIDI out inside of Reason. I'm, I'm sorry, inside of uh, Machine. So um, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.